threatened to fire Cooper, and he publicly said the nigger word. He cut publicly said nigger. They didn't. They didn't threaten. Sure. To fire and I'm not a fan no. of Cooper Cup. No, 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 no. I, I know you're not, but I'm saying what I'm clearing this up. Not Cooper, whatever. Riley Cooper, whatever. And I came yeah. on it and I said he was right. I was clearly talking about how he felt about how they handled his situation and how they handled Cooper's situation. Nobody can tell me that I said I support his message or I support what Hitler said or I hate Jews. Nobody but can. But that's not my point. But that's not my point because you didn't openly. But my problem with what you did was you didn't say this quote in and of itself is a harmful quote because the quote is, I don't think that you hate Jews. I don't think you said you hate Jews. I don't think you support Hitler. Of course you don't support Hitler. You're literally out here fighting for equality. And I see you doing that. But it is upsetting when I see someone say something like the Jewish community is out there conspiring against the black community. And you don't say... This is wrong because it's not right. It's simply not wrong. It's simply not correct to say that. And it's harmful to divide people even more because that's what people like Trump want. That's what the right wants. They want us to be divided. And okay. when you say something like that, it's dividing. Let me ask you a question. When did it become a point where it's my job to say what you want me to say? I don't think it's your job at all, but I'm, I'm expressing why I was very disappointed at least and right. very upset. You know what? And I understand that. And for people that are, that's upset, I can understand that. But those words that y'all saying never came out my mouth. But I didn't I didn't say you said any of those things. I am saying very specifically that I took issue with you not very clearly saying, OK, they handled it differently with Riley Cooper. I accept that. Riley Cooper was not fired right away. I think he should have been. He's a and he got a disgusting person. He and said he got it. He was live. He was he was laughing. He was having fun when he said it. Bad guy. So I first that, that's firstly Riley Cooper. No support even remotely for him. But my issue is that you did not say, OK, they're handling the situation different for Deshaun Jackson. Fine. But what he said, the essence of the quote, nothing about Hitler, nothing about hating Jews, the very essence about it is anti-Semitic and it's very harmful. Right. Yeah, you, and I'm not disagreeing with you, but when do I see people having the same passion with blacks getting killed by police? They don't. They absolutely don't. And I'm not here, but I'm not here to say that the Jewish struggle is harder than the black struggle. I'm not and saying I, that. And, and I agree with you. It's all the same. Pain is all the same. Right. So I'm not saying that this is better or worse. I'm not looking to compare anything. I'm not looking to say that everything, you know, is, is different for these people or the same for these people. That's not my place. That's not my job to speak on those issues. Right. I'm a Jewish person. And I'm trying and I'm trying to help. I'm trying to listen to people. I'm trying to learn because I have more to grow than I have to contribute. That's the first thing. Right. I'm not out here trying to be a leader in any movement. Right. I'm a young guy. You know, you see that. And I'm not and I'm a white guy. You see that, too. So I'm not a leader in this movement. Of course not. So I'm trying to learn. But when I'm in this movement and I'm trying to help people and I'm trying to listen and I see rhetoric like that, I am, you know, my people or whatever are trying to divide the black community. That's really upsetting to me. It's not even that it's incorrect, because we can talk about the facts. We can talk about the history of why those remarks are very harmful. But it's just the reality of we are not trying to divide the black community. We, we are not. And, we, and, there's, and, there, and there's no proof of that. There just isn't. That is, that is the facts of the situation. So when I see you, you can say he's being treated unfairly. I think whatever. Maybe he's being treated unfairly. I don't like Riley Cooper. I, I fucking hate the guy. Right. I mean, like, but point blank. But the fact of the matter is, uh, Deshaun Jackson's remarks were anti-Semitic, and not a lot of people rushed to condemn them inside the NFL. I didn't see it. Yeah, and, th yeah. and that's the reality and of the situation. You know, why? you know why? Because, and and this is facts. We talking because when black people are getting killed, a lot of these teams are owned by white Jewish people, and they don't speak up. So that's why. You know what I mean? That's why. Because so, so that's like that's interesting. Because I'm now I'm trying to educate myself. So a lot of these sports teams are owned by these. You're saying white Jewish people. That that I accept. And in the face of all this racism, they are not speaking. That I accept. Team, team ownership in the NFL and the NBA, despicable. I mean, we see how people like Donald Sterling act. But I want to make it very clear, and you can look at the numbers on this, that this is not the majority of Jewish people. Like, these are our enemies. You and I, these are our enemies. Because I am not fighting for those people's interests. These are corporate overlords, right? These are people who make money from all of this conflict. They make money from war. They make money from conflict. I don't make money from war and conflict. You don't make money from war and conflict. So we are on the same team here, you and I. 
It's not religion or race. They want it to be religion or race, the people at the top. And the people at the top aren't all Jewish. People at the top aren't even all white. They're mostly white. They're not even all men. They're mostly men. But the people at the top and the people who are just trying to fight for equality, those are the two teams. And when you try to divide the people at the bottom and cut us up into little groups, these are black people, these are white people, you know, Chinese people, whatever, that makes it a lot harder for the people at the bottom to tell the people at the top, no, 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 it doesn't matter what you look like or what you believe in, you deserve respect. And that means, yes, not being shot in the street for nothing, killed by brutality for nothing, attacked for what you believe. That's what we're working for. Right, but, but, but then again, it's not us and it's not me who's doing that. No, I agree. But, 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 you know, but, 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 but listen to me, listen to me, yes, but listen to me. I live off facts. Sure. And it's not us who's doing that. You see what I'm saying? And, and and it's not me who jumped out and said Jackson hates black people. I mean Jackson hates Jews. Jackson, sure. hates I, whatever, whatever. Sure. It's not me. And then when I ask people, when did I say these things? They can't answer it but, with the with the correct answer because I never said these things. And this and this is why I'm saying this. If this is a problem, when black people say things, the narrative get twisted to make us look a certain way. You know what I'm saying? And when we ask these questions, show me where I said this. Show me where I pointed this out. Can nobody can nobody bring it to my attention because I live off facts. Everything I say, I stand on and I can prove it. Okay, but but that's but my issue is not that you are the person benefiting or the person at the top. My point very specifically is that Deshaun Jackson's rhetoric is helping the people at the top divide the people fighting for equality. And that's a fact. When you say the Jewish people, I don't remember the exact words, but it's something along the lines, right? The Jewish people are conspiring. That was a very key point, right? To hurt other people, to be in control. That, right, that is divisive rhetoric. But where, but where's the lie? Though? Where, where, where's the lie? What, what owner has spoken out? What owner has spoken out? The owners, but that's my point. Because that's what I'm saying. Owners, but, 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 but I'm not lying. Not. That's what I'm saying. When I say stuff, you can't get mad at me if I'm not lying. But you are, but you, I'm not saying you're lying, but you're incorrect because I know my synagogue has spoken out in support of Black Lives Matter. I know many synagogues have. Don't think, Large is, 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 is he a owner community. of the NFL? Is he an owner of the NFL? So, but the owners of the NFL are not reflections of the Jewish community. Synagogues are, right? Large groups of Jewish people are. You mean owners. You mean rich people. But they're not all Jewish. They don't care about, they don't care about they, Black Lives Matter. They, they have more power. The NFL owners have more power than you know, bro. I'm not, look, they have a lot of power. They but have a lot of power. They are not the Jewish people. And they have the power, they have the power to stand on our side and force laws and force policies to get changed where we but get treated equal and not changed. like animals. But they are, they, they have that power. Change. But they're not, they're not, they're not the Jewish community. They're the top community. They're the government and the people in power and the rich people. They are not the Jewish community. Tell me why my synagogue and two other synagogues that I have friends at uh, supported Black Lives Matter unequivocally from the outset of the movement if the Jewish community isn't supporting Black Lives Matter. They, I mean, they did right away. I'm, I'm, compared to 30 I'm pretty owners, sure both. those synagogues it's, it's, combined it's, are 5,000 people compared to 30 owners. You can do that. Bro, I, know, I, 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 know, I know a lot of Jewish people that love me to death, that stand on side of me and that support me. So I'm not saying that, but what I'm saying is I'm only speaking facts. You know what I mean? I'm not. I'm, I'm no, not speaking. You're not, because you're saying the Jewish community is trying to divide. No, 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 no. You, see, that's what, you never heard me say that. I said the you Jewish supported Steve, You supported the John Jackson's quote, though. You supported the John Jackson's quote. NFL. None of them have spoken up. Just like I said about the NFL NBA owners, none of them have spoke up. But they're cool with players handling other black players and saying stuff about them without repercussion, and they're cool with their players. Sisters, brothers, and cousins getting killed by police in the streets and not saying nothing. And it's all the facts. owners. They're not Jewish. How you how you know they're not Jewish? They're not. I shouldn't say they're not a reflection of the Jewish community. They have, they're not a reflection of the Jewish community. They're not. That you are saying the Jewish people, and that is not fair. And that is that, that's, that's, us that's, the very you keep saying Jewish people. people. I'm saying the Jewish NFL owners. See, See this, that's this is not what happened. Quote said. That's not what the Deshaun Jackson quote said. And if it's not what the Deshaun Jackson quote said, then you should have said that because you see what people are saying. We're but, saying but, but, that it is an anti-Semitic. But, but, but let me say this too: I can care less what people think. 
okay? okay? Because I know how I feel in my heart. And how people think don't pay my bills, how people think don't take care of my kids, how people think don't keep me alive. So I could care less about that. But I care about, what I do care about is people, but not what they think. You see what I, I'm saying? I, but, but, you, but it is important to listen to what people are saying to learn, isn't it? Right, but you can't listen to reply. You have to listen to learn. A lot of people listen to reply. And I'm trying to learn, but 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 this is key. You are you are saying that these Jewish NFL owners, and there are very little of them, but they, they have more power. You, you keep saying, I keep saying that, but I said the Jewish owners haven't spoke up. They haven't. So how that has nothing to do with Judaism. That has everything to do with owners. Not so hold Judaism. on, put, 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 like, put it like this. So if I say black owners don't speak up, I'm talking about Michael Jordan, right? Michael Jordan is black. But you but that quote that you are did not condemn by Deshaun Jackson didn't say anything about black owners. Right. Jewish owners in the NFL not speaking up. But that's not what the quote said. The quote said the Jewish people were trying to divide the black community. But I, show, show me why I said that. You, you didn't condemn it. You didn't condemn it. You let it slide. And I don't I have to condemn issue. it if I didn't say it. If you support someone who said it, then yes, it is a supporting of I quote. supported that he said that he was handled wrong with Cooper. Which is the truth. And if you don't agree with that, you're a racist. I don't I don't disagree with that. I didn't so I that's, disagree. So that's what I agreed with. And I just told why, you. Then why I'm can't you say, saying. then why can't you just say, but the quote was wrong? You know, Mr. Jackson or whatever, Deshaun, the quote was because wrong. Because it's not my job to say what you want me to say. Just just like it's not your job to fight for uh, equality. And just like it's not the Jews' job to stand up with me fighting for equality for my brother when he was murdered. Right, but why can't you just say that the, we try to educate him? Why educate can't you use your platform? Educate, I didn't post it. No, but you have the platform to educate him. What I'm saying is, he posted that. I didn't I didn't read his post. I didn't ask him about it. I didn't. I wasn't talking about Hitler or none of that stuff because I don't care about none of that. Just like most Jews don't care about black history. How do you know that? That's not true. Okay, well, well for perfect example, if anybody cared about us getting slaughtered, if anybody cared about what's been going on for us for 400, five, damn near 500 years, it wouldn't be going on right now. But you're acting like the Jews have so much power in this society, and, that, and that's a myth. Wow. It, it so, really is okay, 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 so if, if it's a myth, then I'll take that from you. But why But why is it Why is it not a myth when it comes to money and saying Jews run everything and they own money? It's not a myth when it's about money, but it's a myth now. I think it's a myth about money. I do. Okay. Uh, when, you actually, when you actually look at the numbers... Uh, Jewish people are not the well, most wealthy people. You know, if you divide racially, Asian but, people but have but none, more money. But look, I, I don't mean to cut you off, bro, but none of that matters to me. I love you, bro. I love Jews. I just hate that people took my words and twisted it because I but never I said... I don't understand I, why you then just can't say, but I don't agree with the Deshaun Jackson quote, because that's what really upsets me about Okay, okay, okay. Well, I wish Donald Trump would say certain things, too. But, he but don't that's say. my point, because but I'm interested in your opinion. Like I, when you when you say people listen to what you say because you have a powerful voice and your message is always clear and your message is always distinct. And I support your message. So it, regardless of you not caring what people think about you, you, you people do listen to you, and I think they should listen to you. I do think they should listen okay, to you. Okay, okay, and they should listen to what come out my mouth. And and nothing. And me hating Jews or me supporting Jews. <laughs> Has never came out my but mouth. But you didn't directly say you don't support the quote, and we're asking for you to say that. I'm at, well, I'm asking I'm asking a lot. I'm asking for a lot from other races that we've never gotten. So you so that means that you don't have to condemn anti semitism because no, racism, no that, 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 that means I'm not here to say what you want me to say. I'm not. I don't. I okay. But you know that because it, because because what y'all saw in the interview was not was not my intentions for making that post. My intention for making that whole post was about Cooper and how they handled Deshaun Jackson. Jewish people looked at the Hitler quote and correlated me with that. You see what I'm saying? But I had nothing didn't to I didn't post it. You never I didn't post it. I didn't comment on the quote. I didn't comment on Hitler. And I didn't comment on but Jews. Didn't and that's the hard facts that y'all don't want to deal with. Y'all have no proof. I, but you did. But you, but, you, but, you could, but you did not condemn it. You supported him in its totality, even if it was in a specific event. It's true. You didn't that, condemn it. If I if I read so many words, so so many words, you upset with me because I didn't say what you wanted me to say. Uh, not at all. I, I think that if you truly be, no, it's not that I you didn't say what I wanted you to say. 
It's that I, I came out here because I was disappointed that you didn't say a certain thing. But you can say whatever you want. I support your freedom to say whatever you want. I'm just trying to have a discussion and say, well, why didn't you say that this quote is wrong? Because, because if one of my friends said something that I disagreed with, I would call them out. I would say, this is not right. Yeah, and, 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 and you're right. But I didn't read the quote, and I wasn't responding because of Hitler or nothing like that. Fuck Hitler. I don't, I don't respect him. I don't know nothing about him, and I don't give a fuck about him. Let's make that clear. My whole comment was directed on my brother and how they was handling him because he was black and how they handled the white guy. Do I respect Hitler? No. Do I, do I, do I, do I, you want me to denounce Hitler? Fuck Hitler. Does that make you happy? I don't give a fuck about Hitler. Never I, had, all I, all I, I, I care about is, my people. But you're, what you're saying, what, point point. You, are, you have not yet said to me that no, Jews are not trying to divide the black community. You know that for a fact? Yes, in in the, in a in a in a uh, yes, I can say that in a fact. Are certain Jews so, interested so, in dividing the black community, just like certain other higher ups okay, are? So, okay, so you just said that was a fact. So you just said that Jews are the richest. You know who the Rothschilds are? That's a specific example. I do, but the but in are, terms of they, people, they 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 control all the banks. They own all the banks. They don't own all the banks. They own a lot of banks. But the Rothschilds aren't the the Rothschilds aren't reflective of the entire Jewish community. I'm not a Rothschild. No, 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 no. I'm I'm not saying that. But that's correlated to money, though. Yes, but 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 if you actually so, so I'm not. Hey, bro, I, I I haven't said one thing that's not true yet. That's not you've 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 yet to you said that the Jews are trying. You've supported the idea that the Jews are trying to divide the black community. No, 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 no. There you go again. I've never you, said that. What I said was you say the, Jews the owners of the divide. NFL. Never came out and spoke. But see, now you're dancing around the point. Just say that the Jews aren't trying to divide the black community. Right, but, but why you want? Why, why, what, I'm saying, what do I gain from saying what you want me to say? It's not what I want you to say. It's that if you truly believe the Jews aren't trying to divide the black community, then you'll say it. But I don't, I, I don't have to say that to you to, to make you believe that I love everybody and I stand for everybody. I know how I feel. But I, get, I gain nothing but from saying to you, saying something to you. To make you feel better when I already not know me. I feel that not way. Me. It's that I exactly. already feel that way, though, so there's no need for me to say it. Why dress up when I know how I because feel? Because people who are listening to you and are taking and are, and, are, and are using your platform and listening to your platform may not feel that same love you do. And I see that. Hey, but, but, but where were these same people when I was getting scrutinized my whole career? Why they didn't weren't speak there. They weren't there. But Nobody cared right. then. Why, so why do people care now? Because the people, because the people who don't care about you are the same people that don't care about us. But it's not the Jews. It's not the Jews. It's the ownership. It's the government. But that's not the Jews. That's a certain group of people. Right, bro, bro, bro. I've never said Jews hate me. You're avoiding, but you're avoiding this point. Then, if you do, you think I'm, I'm. Then I'll ask you as a question: Do you think Jews are trying to divide the black community or not? No, but I don't think they stand up for us as much as they should. I would agree with you there. I agree with you 100%. I answered your question. But but see, but you see what I'm saying. But then when you don't say that off the bat, if you said, hey, you know, Mr. Jackson, hey, Deshaun, that quote that you just put out there, I'm going to use it's my not, platform. It's not to do that, to me. Bro. What? That's not my job. I didn't say it was your job. But obviously, if you have a large platform, that is that is something that, that would be very helpful to the community to say, whoa, I, whoa, this is. OK, but look, I, I, I'd rather people follow me than know me. I don't want people to follow me that don't know me or that assume they know me and, and then expect the worst out of me. You really don't know me and you're not really for me. I don't have to explain nothing to people that really know me. They know I love everybody and they know I'm on this journey standing for every, all races and everybody. So the people that know me, I didn't have to explain nothing to them, including my Jewish people that know me. Okay. I didn't have to explain nothing to them. The owner of the big three mm -hmm. is Jewish. Okay. He's Ice Cube's best friend. Okay. He he didn't call me with no type of ill way. He understood the point I was making about how Deshaun was getting handled. But most the, people don't understand that. But a most lot of people, people don't. The people who took it the wrong way have hate in their heart, bro. I don't think that's true. Un unless you think that I have hate in my heart. No, 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 no. But see, you gave me the benefit of the doubt. You read it and you was upset, but you also gave me the benefit of the doubt to get on here and talk to me because you know how I really stand. You know I love everybody, and you know I'm standing for equality for everybody. So that's why you got on live with me to hear me out. Sure, because I want to hear everyone's opinion, and I think it's important. And, I, and again, I respect you a lot. But for me, it's hard to understand that if you have such a big platform, and look, I get it. You don't have to speak for everyone. You don't have to say anything you don't want to say. But why not then say, hey, 
this is divisive rhetoric to say I want to divide. The Jewish community is trying to divide people. That's not helpful. We should right. be looking at the people in the government who are not enacting change. Local right. government, mayors, you know, police chiefs. Some are Jewish, some are not. Those are the enemies here. I agree. I don't have a say in this. I, I don't. Are some people at the top Jewish? Yes. Was Donald Sterling Jewish? Yes. But look how the general community, the Jewish community, reacted to Donald Sterling. The people who don't have the big platforms and all the money. I, I, I had a lot of respect for Donald Sterling, but to be honest, rest in peace. He was a great commissioner. He did a lot for me. Donald but Sterling. They, they, but they took $3 million from me in the wrong way just because I was a black Wait, man. Donald Sterling or David Stern? Sorry. I mean, David, David, oh, uh, oh, I was talking about the owner, the, the, oh, the Donald, Clifford guy. He's yeah, a, he's yeah, a, yeah, yeah. That's what I was talking about. And then you know what? I can't be even. I can't believe they played for the rest of the season. They shouldn't never even play. I mean, you know what? That's the main reason why I never got an NBA job mm -hmm. because I made a song about him with really? the rap with Scarface. I made a song on the video. As soon as I was cut from that team, all that stuff came out. I made a song on the video about it, and that's why I never played in the NBA again. But yeah. nobody want to talk about that. See, nobody. I, I only live on facts, bro. I understand that, but. But but his but what Deshaun Jackson said is what I'm trying to get to the bottom of it was divisive. It's harmful. Yeah, I mean it is because when because it's not harmful to the Jewish people at the top. Donald Sterling, bad guy and Jewish. I don't support him, and I know my community doesn't support him. Okay, I mean the guy is despicable. Right. That's not Jewish values. Those are not Jewish values. But we, I don't have the platform to get out there. And say, this is the worst thing ever. This is so bad. Because I don't, people don't listen to me. Mm -hmm. But they listen to you. Right? And, 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 and that's what bothered me. Why can't you just, and I know you don't have to say anything I want you to say. Obviously, you're a free person. But why not use that platform? People do listen to you. Yeah. And say, hey, wait a minute. Okay, yes, Deshaun Jackson is getting treated unfairly. Yes, the ownership is not standing with Black Lives Matter. Yes, the NFL community is not ever going to support Black Lives Matter unless it makes money. It's not, we it's not about that. Black Lives Matter, bro. It ain't even about Black Lives Matter with me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Black Lives Matter, I, but, but that's that's not what, I, what I'm even on. You know what I'm saying? You don't never see me post that on my page. Sure, sure. You know what I'm saying? You don't never see me post that, ever. You know what I mean? It's just about what's right and what's fair. You know what I'm saying? And, and this is the thing, bro. This is the thing. I just wish the same energy is, 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 is held up when enough, when we get done wrong or somebody says something about us and I want the same people to come for them like they're doing for me when my words was twisted. Because some, sometimes people actually say stuff out their mouth where you can actually hear what they're saying and it's cruel as hell sure. and nobody say nothing. Nobody. But, and, but and a yes. black man, hold on. But a black man's word can be twisted and you don't even hear it come out his mouth and y'all crucifying for it. You see, and, and I'm, I'm going to give you an example. Kobe Bryant was never charged guilty for murder. As soon as he died, that's the first thing everybody brought up was, 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 was a case that he was in about uh, rape, but he never was charged for rape. But they still bringing it up. Sure. But that only happens with a black man. And, I, and I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to get sympathy. I'm just speaking facts, bro. I, but I, I agree with you, but 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 Deshaun Jackson very specifically. I, hold on, but let, let's talk about me. Let's talk about me. Okay, we, sure. We don't have to talk about Deshaun no more. What Deshaun did, that's Deshaun's, that's him. He got he got to deal with that, right? Okay, so this is where we at since we've been talking. One, what's clear is I never said I hated Jews. Are we understood with that? Sure. I've never said I support Hitler. And to you sure. right now, I don't support Hitler. Okay. I never will. Okay. I didn't study him in school because I didn't go to school. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's keep it real. Okay. I, learned, I learned all my black history from being a black man. Sure. Didn't learn nothing from school. Okay. So I don't know nothing about a lot of stuff. And you know what? I might need to be educated on some of that stuff. But what I do know is, is that me as a person, can't nobody tell me that I don't stand for everybody. Can't nobody tell me that I said I hate any race on a video, interview or anything. And can nobody tell me that my response on that video was directed to Jews? Can nobody tell me that? And I'm telling you this today, that I don't hate you. Okay. My comment was directly made 
on the way the Eagles handled Cooper and Deshaun. And okay. I had no I had no ill will to, to speak on Hitler or Jews in any way, form, or fashion. Okay. Now, my, my comment about the Jew owners not speaking up, it wasn't racist because the white owners haven't spoken up too, and I said that too. Right. So right. So, so 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 it was it wasn't racist to Jews. It's just speaking the truth that these owners that own these teams, white, Jew, whatever they are, they haven't they're not speaking up. And these leagues are 80 percent black. And that's all I was saying. OK, so that and that is and we're on the same page, because my only issue was I felt like you were painting, especially in the comments about black owners, Jews as as, you know, similar to the black owners and the, the Jewish owners, my apologies. But the Jewish owners and the white owners and all the owners are one group and everyone else is another group. And it's not Jewish or not Jewish. Well, hey, I wish I wish they would figure that out because they it's amazing that they put all blacks in one group, whether they rich, poor, broke, fat, skinny. But they, they do it all, to divide they us. They put all of us in one class. You see what I'm saying? That's why I'm fighting for equality. You see how you, see how you separate us. the good Jews and the bad Jews? You see how they did that? Well, they don't do that for us. They put all of us in one category and just throw us to the dogs. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the country is racist, of course. Like uh, I'm not, I'm not going to hear to deny that. Yeah, the black people get lumped together in one group. All of their bad actions get put in. So this is what black people do. You know, one black guy does something, suddenly that's it, right? And you get lumped with it. We see it in the media. That's what the media wants to do, right? Because they don't want those voices to be heard. I agree. But that I agree. is what is happening right now. Not, I'm not trying to, you know, say the struggle is the same, but that same sort of thing where you say here are some bad people, and that's reflective of the whole community. Yeah, I, I I would never I would never judge one Jewish person. I would never judge the whole Jewish community or one Jewish person because okay. I because I know I like I said. Let me tell you a story, bro. Okay. I'm on a basketball court in my hometown at 15 years old in the ghetto, the slums. I don't know if you know what the slums is like in the ghetto is like, but it's 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 dirty. Everybody's surviving. Everybody's struggling to make five dollars. You have to share food in the household. You got to share clothes. Sometimes you have to share bath water. So this is where I grew up at. For a lot of people that's on here that don't understand what the slums is. A Jewish kid, a white Jewish kid by the name of Josh Pastner, he's the head coach for the Georgia Tech, Georgia Tech College basketball team. He pulled up in my neighborhood in a basketball court where it's gang banging, drugs getting sold, people getting shot at, stabbed. He pulled up. Pulled up to my neighborhood, offered me an opportunity to play on a travel basketball team. Nobody knew about me. If he wouldn't have came, I would have been dead in jail mm -hmm. or, you know what I'm saying, something like that because of my environment. Mm -hmm. Josh pulled up in my neighborhood. Offers me a, a job, a, a chance to travel and play basketball on this AAU team, and it changed my life. Where I, where I end up being seen coming to McDonald's All American and being drafted out of high school. Mm -hmm. I'm saying that to say it's impossible for me to hate anybody that hasn't done nothing to me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I'm just letting you know a little bit about me. Yeah, and 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 look, I respect you a lot. I gotta go soon. I gotta go to the doctor. But I respect you a lot. And my issue was that I see a lot of people, even in your comments, if you read through your comments, saying, no, 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 it is the Jewish community. It's the Jews. It's the Jews. It's the Jews. And that is my issue. Yeah. Because yeah. blaming the Jews for the problems is just another tactic that the people at the top use. Right. To distract I agree. us from the real issue. That right? I... It's the same. And the real issue is that this country is founded on racism. It was built on the backs of people who are enslaved. People are still enslaved right now in the prison system. They can't vote. You know all this. Right. That's the real issue. No, I agree with you. I, I definitely agree with that. I and, definitely. It's not, and it's not the Jews who are the only ones responsible for this. And that's all. But I respect you. Well, that's all I love, man. I, I, I wish you well at the doctor, man. I hope it's uh, not nothing serious, man. But I, I appreciate you getting on here with me, man. Get some Thank you. Keep it up. Much Bless. love, bro.